We're here in the Hartford locker room with head coach John Gallagher, just coming off a huge win at the University of Vermont, breaking their 22-game home winning streak. We're got, we've got the film in front of us. We're going to go back and review some of the key possessions. So thanks for doing this, Scott. Uh, this is great, Adam. It's great to have you uh, do this with us, and uh, always tough to win at Patrick Gymnasium. That is for sure. So, Gal, the first possession, you're down four, under three minutes left. What, what are we trying to accomplish here? So we, we want to get a touch uh, from Jason Dunn. We saw something, uh, if you can just rewind it, if you want to. So we saw them switch earlier in the game. Uh, and we talked about if we could uh, get the switch lower than the screen, which we did. So you're uh, pushing the, the angle of the screen angle down. The screen down yeah. more. Okay. Uh, and then I mean, you can see Haasen, he sets it perfectly because it was a late switch. Um, John angled him out. John angled nice him out, out, and he tried to flop, um, which obviously we were worried about. Uh, and Jason, he's made that shot uh, a lot in his career. It's a shot we want to get. Likes big shots. Likes big shots. So now you came back, you got to stop. Your next offensive possession, you saw something else here? So they go zone. Uh, it's the first time. You're, you're, you're animated on the yeah, sidelines. So you're Tom, making sure you guys know. Yeah, Tom Devitt told me that John Becker had called, Coach Becker had called out their zone call. We have a special zone play that we run, uh, uh, I guess, the first day of practice. Uh, if anybody runs zones. It's not going to work again. <laughs> Exactly, but we have like two to three options off of it, uh, and there's it's just a really, really hard play to guard, and this is something that I stole from Fran O'Hanlon at Lafayette. It always works. Gal, we got 15 seconds left. Their last possession of the game. What are you telling the guys here? Well, we had great success with in our rover, which is our 1-3-1, one, one. Uh, and I thought Hassan did a great job of not fouling and funneling him to John. We always talk about, if you rewind that, we always talk about we don't want uh, Trey Bell Haynes to get on the out. That's fine if he gets beat in that on that side. If he gets beat the other way, we don't have an answer. It's too, it's too deep. Meaning in the, you don't want him to go left? Yes. Okay. We want to force him to his right. And now I have the help with John. I see. And, you know, John makes a great block. There's they, still six seconds, though, though. They, so this is just this is scramble, just scramble basketball. And then we've worked all season long with Hassan on walling up. That was great defensive play. And, and if you can see it here, he walls up great. Ball, got a loose ball. And then Jason Dunn smart enough uh, to, to find Hassan uh, late in the game, and we finished the play. Three huge plays there. Carroll with the block, Hassan with the, Hassan with the walling up, and then Jason with the loose ball. It was three consecutive big clutch plays. Uh, and to beat a team like Vermont, uh, the respect we have for them, you have to make those plays. Is that the biggest win of your career here? Um, you know, we beat Rutgers at Rutgers, which is a Big Ten school this year. Uh, you know, we've had, we beat Albany when they were really good. But this is big for a lot of reasons. It puts us in the spot to be the two seed. Uh, we control our own destiny. Uh, when you control your own destiny in basketball, uh, this late in the season to have a home, feet, a home court, uh, for two, possibly two games, um, it does make it the biggest win. Thanks for doing this. Thank you.